Welcome to Layla Lynn TV, the channel for celebrity news and entertainment. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell so that you're notified of every new episode. All right, you guys, I am back with part two. Now, again, the co-hosts of The Real, Lonnie Love, Jeannie Mai, Tamira Mowry Housley, and Adrian Houghton went on The Breakfast Club today and spilled tea everywhere. This particular video is about Jeannie Mai and her soon-to-be ex-husband, Freddie Hartides, as well as Tamira Mowry Housley and her husband, Adam Housley. All right, so the first cup of tea was Jeannie Mai revealing that she's still going through her divorce and that is actually turning a bit ugly. What would you do differently now if you knew back then? If mm -hmm. you knew then what you knew, knew now, now, what would you do yeah. different? And I was about, I thought I was going to come out and say invest in Bitcoin, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But then <laughs> in the moment, in the heat of what I'm going through right now, for anybody who knows what divorce feels like, it I think sucks. It's terrible, and you wake up with a rock in your uh, in your heart, and you just feel like you can't really make it through the day because it's just so heavy. Especially when finances get involved, especially when people change. And so, in that moment, when I had my Bitcoin line, I was like, it just erupted in me, and it mm -hmm. made me realize, Adrian, when you said, "Girl, we," I forgot that you were going through divorce, and yeah. it's because. Yeah as a good old Asian person, mm -hmm. we suppress ish and then we just focus on working. Hey, can... All right, so here are the receipts on this one. Freddie Hartides, when he made his baby announcement, he put a timeline in his caption of when he met his girlfriend and when he found out she was pregnant. And that's how people were able to do the math and count back and see that his relationship with his girlfriend started at the same month that Jeannie Mai announced that they were getting a divorce. This is what he put in his caption. And this was in April of 2018. He said, if you see me in the last six months, and if you count back, that would be October, you have seen me not able to wipe a crazy grin off my face because of a beautiful woman who captured my heart. And in the last four months, which would be January 2018, I have been walking on the clouds because the thought of us having a miracle of our own and yesterday my heart about burst out of my chest when we found out our precious child would be our precious daughter. I cannot wait to hold and kiss my sweet girl. She will be crazy beautiful like her mama inside and out. I am overwhelmed with excitement and hope for this beautiful little life on this way. I can't help but be giddy about this miracle on her way. Daddy can't wait to take you hunting little one. It's actually a really cute announcement and it's a shame that their baby announcement caused so much controversy, but it is what it is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you still love your husband, yeah. right? Um, Y'all didn't get divorced on bad terms, right? We didn't get divorced on bad terms, but love is, love is, 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 a, that's a word that I have to, I have to figure out what that means between mm. us right now. Yeah. Because when people... When, one thing that he always said, and I love this quote, I really believed yeah, it. Yeah, you said it a your, lot. Your ex? I, yes. Okay. My ex said, you don't truly know a person until they don't get what they want. Mm -hmm. That's when they That's show true. you who they are. And I see that all the time. If a friend asks you to borrow money, you're like, nah, fam, I'm sorry, I can't. And they they might around. turn around and be a little punky to you or maybe like yeah. a guy who wants mm -hmm. to, or, or a girl who tries to get into bed with you and you say no, then they turn into a different way. You're like, oh my God, this Thank is who God you are. I didn't do that. Right. Exactly. Right. Well, right. let's tell somebody at. yes a and thousand a times. Quote. He, you tell them no once. It's a good quote, but mm. you wouldn't think that the person you were married to and were with for 10, and 14 taught you years the quote. and taught you the quote would actually be the best number one example to prove it. Now, correct um, me if I'm wrong. Y'all got divorced because he wanted kids, right? No. That's not what it was? That was I thought I'm that was the story. Like, no. no. That he wanted a kid and you didn't want a kid? And That's... There's a there's a little more to that, and I can't really get into that right now. But but right now it's just I'm just trying to I'm 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 keeping afloat. I'm like right here, like gotcha. here's the water yeah, level. We, we and I just things are breathe. deeper than that. It's yeah. never just deeper. black and white like right. that. Yeah. Yeah. Was he cheating? Mm. Um, he is having a baby. Yeah, and interestingly, How did that happen so with somebody cheating. before we even divorced, I thought they that were was already pretty fast. But yeah, you know, he was cheating. I wasn't gonna judge, right? It right. Was, it was really like the divorce is happening, baby. Yeah. yeah, but and you know That's what's funny? Awkward. Yeah, guy, yeah, it was awkward. Yeah, right? I never was the type to really sit there and actually calculate and do math. You know, Tam knows best. Like I, I'm not that 
I, I'm not that petty to sit there and like calculate like timing and how yeah, people do things. That is but true. then our we, real we fam, were doing the math we were doing it. Okay. <laughs> and our real fam comes in and goes, wait, when you announced that yeah. you met this minute. person at this time and now you're together having the baby at this time and Jeannie just came out with you guys getting divorced at this time, that's funny. Yeah. And that's when you have to face the facts because you realize I, I'm a Capricorn and I'm mad loyal. Mad loyal, and I will but always look we, for the good in people. We're not gonna put that out there because we don't know for sure. Right. Yes, okay. but I, but, but I will you say I math, always look for the good for, in people. I Correct. didn't do no math. Okay, I just we're not gonna put that out there. Right. Yeah, yeah, you don't just take condoms off specu- that fast, though. You know what it is. They've been. It was a speculation and yeah. assumption yeah. between yeah. us yeah. girls. You let Latin- All right, so the mother of Freddie Hartai's baby revealed on Instagram recently that she's due October 24th and that they are still together because there were reports that her and Freddie Hartai had broken up, but she said they are still together and she posted this picture with the caption. Our little peanut is coming early, cutting someone's hunting season short, and I can't help but find it funny. Hashtag October 24th, hashtag Emerson Rose, hashtag let's give them something to talk about. So apparently she is ready to be in the blogs again, which she is now. All right, so the last thing they talked about is whether Tamira's husband, Adam Housley, is racist or not. And people say that he's racist because he worked for Fox News, his his affiliation with Fox, and because of statements that he's made, for example, saying that black people should always celebrate the 4th of July. And personally, I don't think he's racist. I think he enjoys white privilege and doesn't even know that he is benefiting from white privilege. And I think that's why he makes the statements he makes. It's more ignorance and racism. Them. That's my opinion, but this is what Tamira had to say. Lonnie, do you think Adam's racist? No, of course no. not. No, he I just get on my nerves. That's all. No. Explain, explain to me why that. people would think that. Well, they said because he used to work at Fox News, so for whatever Which reason. He well, yes, anymore. but this is the misconception. Yeah. My husband was, he actually left. He's Mr. Mom right now mm-hmm. and killing it. Um, and he owns a winery, so mm-hmm. that's what he's doing right now. What people don't understand is that my husband was a Fox News correspondent. Mm-hmm. There's a difference between being a Fox News correspondent and a Fox News opinion host. Mm. My husband is a badass. Mm. My husband covered Covering hurricanes. <laughs> my husband covered tsunamis. Oh, yes. yeah. My husband yeah. like, covered that's... the war. Mm-hmm. So totally his different. main thing and we got to hear hard, about it all the damn time. Hard. I was in Afghanistan. Oh, <laughs> true. It's hard. <laughs> Hardcore yeah. facts. And that's one of the reasons why he left. Mm-hmm. He feels like right now with the news, everybody is so like mm-hmm. opinionated. And he's like, oh, I don't want yeah, this. Polarized. I don't, I'm, uh, yeah, it's so polarized. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He just he, he wants to focus on on, on that. But th- right now it's a great time for us to just take a break mm-hmm. from from my husband working, you know, in the news because we have two children that are in school mm-hmm. right now. Now is and it difficult to be married to a white man in this political climate? I think it's difficult to be married to a white man in this political climate who worked for Fox News Mm. (laughs) because there is, you know, because some of the things that they have said, you're like, oh, God, you know, and my husband, he he got he got tired of always fighting that. All right, you guys, so that's all the tea that was spilled this morning and the receipts that go along with it have been added into this video. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about Jeannie's Mai's husband having a baby before they're even divorced and what you think about Tamira's husband, Adam Housley, and whether or not he's racist. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching.